Oh yes, oh yes, it's the one section of twisties, yes! Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fett channel. My name is Brent and we make the motorcycle videos and motorcycle vlogs here. Uh, today we are hitting up what I call the Gardner Twisties, which is a series of four very lazy left and right turns. <laughs> but it's as close to a twisty as I get in my immediate area anyway. Uh, the purpose of the ride here today is really I have to go run an errand because my wife stole my keys. Must be those trust issues that her two wheels and her husband are going. Oh! Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. We know they don't have trust issues. I don't have trust issues. It, my wife took my kids to daycare in my car and she happened to keep my keys. Which ended up actually working out well for me because I have to go right up to her work now to grab the keys before I can go pick up the kiddos. So, win, win, win for me. So, of course, the only way to get out of Gardner, at least to go to the place I need to go, is to have hit those twisties that we just went through. And now they're done. And this is the end of the episode. No, 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 no. I'm sure I can come up with something else to talk about. So I guess really today would, would be a good topic of discussion is to kind of follow up on a review that I did last year which was my initial test ride with the school rider's jacket or flannel shirt as you so put it. Oh man, gonna be behind a septic truck. Gross. Literally, Bill's septic service. <laughs> Don't spill, Bill. <laughs> anyway, back to this lovely garment that I am wearing, the School Riders flannel. Now, when I originally did the test ride on it last, oh, I guess it probably would have been fall heading into the winter time. I had only had the one ride with it. Basically, I had went out one time filmed and that was my initial thoughts of it so now I have mm, probably a couple months of writing with it and I just want to kind of give you some feedback as far as things that I like and dislike about it we'll start with the cons because everyone hates things it seems like so let's just put the negative out there let's just get that negative energy out so we can get to the positives yeah. Alright, so the negatives. Number one on the negative side was the back armor plate. That thing was hard as a rock. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm sure it would protect me in the fall because it was so hard. It made putting the shirt on just downright uncomfortable. I did try it out again after that initial test ride just to give it a shot while riding and nope. I basically went around the block and came immediately back home because it was that bloody uncomfortable. However, the armor and the shoulders and the elbows have held up very well. I noticed they don't really move around a whole heck of a lot, which is good. It means they're actually going to protect the spots that they're supposed to. Oh, Bill Septic is going to the winery. Ugh. All right, so con number one was that back pad. Uh, con number two, and this is really, you know, I'm, I'm getting kind of nitpicky, I guess you could say, uh, but these front pockets, um, just the way the wind catches them, because they're snapped in place and the snaps are really good, but it, it ends up like having like a paper airplane effect <laughs> around it. It makes a... Makes them kind of flap up and look a little bit awkward, I had noticed in my moto vlogs. Now, again, is this really, you know, something that I care overly too much about? No. But it's just something that I have noticed in my findings with the jacket. 
The one other negative that I would have to say that I wish was a little bit different was the inside pocket as well. It's really not easy to get to, especially if you have gloves on. Woo. So there's not really an easy like pull string or tab that's added to like the zipper itself to make it easily accessible. Again, small little things. Why do you hate me when I show you nothing but love? So now that we got those little negativities out of the way, let's talk about the positives of this thing. The positive is one, it feels like I am wearing a flannel shirt. There's really nothing else to say about it is it's as light as my Dixon flannels. Okay, probably not quite as light as the Dixon flannels. There is technically a single mesh liner in there and then it's lined with Kevlar. But as far as the airflow of it, it's just as good as the Dixons. Sorry, I started, I slow talked there. I went right by an officer. I wasn't sure if he was going to say or pull me over for having an, an obstruction on my motorcycle. Yes, officer. Is there something wrong? Have you seen this boy? Hi 360, I love you. Alright, so number one is the construction and the quality of the fabric, to how it just it does allow air to flow through. I have it currently buttoned and zipped, and we're probably floating about 65 today, and I'm actually kind of chilly. Not chilly cold, but to the point where it is, you know, pleasant, I guess you could say. So I have had a chance to ride with it on a couple of warmer days as well. And I have to say, this has replaced my mesh jacket 100%. No longer am I gonna be riding the bar and shield mesh jacket. I will be riding with this thing on. There's just no point. Now, the bar and shield was nice. It, it served its purpose, but I really, I dig flannels. It's kind of a sick hobby of mine to collect <laughs> the, like the Dixon ones and so when I saw school riders had these and their price was only about 140 bucks ship I had to give it a shot so glad I did so glad I did and that's the last thing that I'll talk about for the final pro of this is the fact that it is relatively pretty affordable now some people might scoff at the fact and think that you know a hundred and forty dollars hundred and fifty dollars for a shirt is pricey but when you start comparing it to other companies who have something of similar nature they're right on par if not cheaper than most of them most of those other companies who have armored flannels aren't lined with Kevlar lining and from uh, what Megan Starka said, don't try to market the word Kevlar because Kevlar will come after you. <laughs> but then, what do you guys think about this jacket? I mean, it looks to me like I'm using a shirt for the most part. Um, it's very comfortable. Uh, what I like also about it is the fact that if I really wanted to, and I wanted to take the armor out of the shoulders and the elbows, I could. I could ride it as just a Kevlar shirt less protection but I'd, I'd feel a little less bulky going into like the grocery store or hanging out at the dealership things of that nature but overall I think even with the armor in there it's not so bad what I'd be very curious to know is if like the armor from Engine Hawk's new line uh, from Rorock the new like flexi armor that they have if they would fit into these slots if so I might try and put that in there and that could be a game changer even more so for this. But with that being said, everybody, drop your comments below. What kind of riding gear do you ride that is stylized? And as always, I will catch you on the next Dark Side, because this is the way. Chapter 13, you on the next one. Bye-bye, Chevrolet.